Good morning again, friends. I love starting our day with hope, and I'm thankful God has a lot of hope to offer. So this morning, one of the things I thought that we could talk about is our daily habits. Habits. Those are those things that we all do. And I believe in our normal routine, habits sometimes can be things we're not even really aware of. Well, you know, in this very unique and strange time that we all find ourselves in, some of those habits begin to rise to the surface. And we begin to see things that we do and things that we choose in our life just almost in reflex, either bringing about great results or really not so good. So I just want to take a moment and us self-examine and ask God through His Holy Spirit to show us the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to our habits. God gives us a really encouraging word in Galatians. I want to read this to us, chapter 6, starting in verse 9. He encourages us and He says this, So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't know that we've ever had this specific kind of opportunity that we have right now. And maybe you haven't looked at this quarantine time and this virus as an opportunity because honestly, we all are feeling just the reality of our schedules and of the uncertainty and of just the the sickness that is in our culture and in our world. But I believe God is a good God and he takes what may look dark and bleak and he says, you know what, in my world, in my kingdom, in my economy, for my children, these can be opportunities. So whatever your bad habit might be, ask God to reveal it because bad habits are easy to make, but they can be hard to break. But in this season, what if God is saying, I have set aside time in your life because I want you to lean into me with those habits, with those choices, and I want to take you to the next level in your relationship with me. God is inviting you to take his hand in a way that maybe you haven't had the space or the opportunity to take his hand in this way before. Let's do it together. Let's ask God to show us those things and that we would be people who don't grow weary in doing the right thing. And that God would show us those areas of our life where he wants to rewire who we are, rewire who we are in our families, rewire how we talk to one another, rewire us with having special patience when we have to go out, get groceries and interact with others. God, could you rewire those natural reflexes and make them become more and more like Jesus reflexes. So could we together pray, ask God to help us seize the opportunity that he has put in front of us and that we would be fueled by his hope as we love him and we love others. Oh God, I thank you that you gave us a new day, that you called us today to live this day out and that God, you are the one who can take our habits, things that maybe aren't so great, God, and you can begin to change us, transform us as we lean into you. So today, God, even right now, I pray that there would be specific areas that you are revealing into the heart of every listener that, God, this is an area where you want to help us go to that next level in our lives today. We trust you. We lean into you. God, we are counting on you. Thank you for loving us through the thick and the thin. In Jesus' name, amen.